Hey folks, we just got back from eight days of camping, well, nine days of camping, with Irene's business. It was an interesting trip. We have, we have a few pictures, including the hailstorm during the flood. <laughs> and when she says flood, it's a real flood. We had between two and a half and three inches of rain, while up here, there is two feet of snow. And you can see behind us, there was some snow. It's not too bad, but we did have to shovel our way into the house. It wasn't forecast when we left, but it happened. Yep, and of course the snow slid off the roof. And the door that I can usually get in, which is on the south side, for whatever reason, wouldn't open. I'm assuming there's ice in the lock, so I'll have to figure that out later. So enjoy watching the rest of the video. See you next time. <laughs> Every event that Irene does has a special sale called Midnight Madness. Now normally we supply electric power for an LED light that lights up the booth. However, when it's raining, there's a problem. You see, this inverter does not have an actual ground. Instead, it has a virtual ground. That makes it dangerous. And I wasn't going to put up a light using power cords that might electrocute somebody. We still need the power to supply our credit card processing equipment. Here, I'm connecting a battery to the inverter. You'll notice that I have the ground cable connected first, and then I attach the positive. This is the safest way that I know of to connect an inverter under these circumstances. Not recommended, I don't suggest you do it, but it did work for us.
Tschüss. Tschüss.